After the Second Crusade, Nur ad-Din of the Zengid dynasty was left in control of the former Crusader state Edessa and the important city of Damascus. But to the south, the Fatimid dynasty of Egypt was in a period of turmoil and power lay in the hands of the vizier and not the caliph. So the position of vizier was fought over, and in the 1160s, two rivals emerged, Durgam and Shawar. In 1163, Durgam ousted Shawar, but Shawar asked Nur ad-Din for assistance and his forces under Kurdish general Shirka was able to kill Durgam and restore Shawar. But Shawar then called the Crusaders for help in ousting Shirka. However, Shirka's forces decisively beat the Crusaders at the Battle of Harim. The fight for power continued until 1169 when Nur ad-Din's armies took Cairo and executed Shawar. The general Shirka was appointed the new vizier, but he soon died and was replaced by his nephew Saladin. Saladin quickly consolidated his power in Egypt, fought out of a crusader army at Damietta, and then, with the death of the Fatimid Caliph in 1171, became the ruler of Egypt. Then, in 1174, Nur ad-Din died, and this allowed Saladin to expand and take Damascus. And over the next decade, he continued to expand across the Middle East. Although there were some minor skirmishes with the Crusaders throughout this period, Saladin only prepared to invade the Crusader states in 1187, when a Crusader knight broke their truce by capturing a Muslim caravan. Saladin's army of 30,000 men crushed the Crusaders at the Battle of Hattin in July, and then captured the cities of Acre, Ascalon, Beirut, Jaffa, Sidon, and most importantly, Jerusalem. News of the fall of Jerusalem reached Europe, and the new Pope, Gregory VIII, called for a new crusade. However, the European kings were slow in raising adequate funds and armies. Eventually, the Holy Roman Emperor, Frederick Barbarossa, was the first to set off. In mid-1190, he reached Anatolia by land and defeated the Seljuks at Iconium. However, in June, he drowned in a river and only a fraction of his large army continued to Acre. Meanwhile, Richard the Lionheart of England and Philip II of France travelled by sea. But en route, they stopped off to rescue Richard's sister from the new King of Sicily. But during their long stay, they were forced to crush a rebellion caused by their presence. In April 1191, they finally left Sicily, but some of their ships, which were shipwrecked on Cyprus, were looted by the Byzantine ruler of Cyprus, Isaac Komnenos, who had close relations with Saladin. So Richard the Lionheart landed on the island in early May, and within a month conquered it. From his new base, he finally reached the Holy Land in mid-1191, four years after Jerusalem fell. There he linked up with the Crusaders who had been besieging Acre since August 1189 and forced the city to surrender. Nevertheless, because of internal squabbling, King Philip of France and Leopold V of Austria returned home. But before they left, they gave a great deal of money to Conrad of Montferrat, their mutual cousin and a challenger to the throne of Jerusalem. In late August, Richard set off along the coast for Jaffa. Saladin tried to stop the march at the Battle of Arsuf, but the Crusaders emerged victorious and Saladin withdrew to Jerusalem. Richard advanced on Jerusalem in late 1191. However, due to a lack of supplies and poor weather, he was forced to withdraw without fighting. He settled for taking Ascalon and the surrounding cities, all the while trying to negotiate a peace with Saladin. But back in England, Richard's long absence had allowed his brother John to make a claim for power. Plus, Richard's ally, Guy of Lusignan, was replaced as King of Jerusalem by Conrad of Montferrat. But Conrad was assassinated by an unknown person before he was ever crowned. Regardless, in mid-1192, Richard advanced on Jerusalem one final time. But once again, he was forced to withdraw without fighting, this time because of disputes amongst the leaders. There was talk of an invasion of Egypt, but Richard decided to take Beirut before returning home to secure his throne. Hearing of Richard's movement, Saladin launched an assault on Jaffa and captured the city in July. But Richard was able to put together an army, sail for Jaffa, and retake the city. Both sides, now pretty weary of war, agreed to peace. Ascalon was returned to Saladin and Jerusalem remained under Muslim rule. But the small crusader states survived and they had a new ally in the region, the Kingdom of Cyprus. On Richard's return to England, he was temporarily imprisoned by Leopold V of Austria for the murder of Conrad of Montferrat. But his incredibly large ransom was met and he would rule England until 1199. Meanwhile, back in the Middle East, Saladin died shortly after peace was made and his empire was divided amongst his sons.